Welcome back to a FS19 mod review. Today we will be taking a look at a variety of mods. All of the mods are public and the links can be found down below in the description of today's review. Up first we will be taking a look here at a dump truck and snowplow pack from Expandable Modding. In the store they can be found under the cars category. Up first we have a 1971 Chevy dump truck. This has 300 horsepower with a holding capacity of 10,000 liters. The wheels are color changeable with the addition of zinc, uh, chrome, stainless steel, and a few others. The cab here is color changeable, but it's a two-tone cab, and the other part of the cab goes along with the dump bed, which is a pretty sweet configuration. We'll take a look here at the different options. We have the plow equipment which consists of the plow mount and the sander in the back. We have the light bar and we have it all put together. Up next we do have the stock wheels and some off-road tires on it which is pretty sweet if you are going to be having this out on the farm fields and a few different engine options. Up next we have a second gen Dodge dump truck, very similar, uh, you guys can see everything is pretty much the same. This one does have the addition of the uh, Dodge tow mirrors which is pretty sweet. And we have an OBS4 dump truck here, they're all the same prices and the same features, just a different brand cab. For the plow it can be found under uh, the miss category. The plow has a starting price of $2,400, 3 meter width, and this is a Fisher plow. When taking a full walk around here or on the Chevy dump truck, you guys can see this is pretty sweet. I really do like the wheels, uh, that looks pretty cool. Detailed suspension, great looking front end, and you guys can see very high quality. Now when we do come around to the dump bed, I really do like this dump bed style, having those small uh, wood sides on it do look pretty sweet. You can see the detail in there with the bolts, a uh, nice toolbox there. This thing looks awesome. Around back, bumper pull hitch, very nicely done. Uh, uh, we have mud flaps, lights in the back, this thing looks awesome, and uh, it's a pretty big dump bed. Once we hop here on the inside, top speed is 75 miles per hour. You guys can see all these lights do work. Let's take a look at them all up front. That is pretty cool. Now, when you do press the home, we do have some strobes there in the grill and here on the back, the dump bed. That is pretty sweet. And if you do press X, uh, the uh, gate will open up just a little bit, which could be good for spreading. But this is one awesome truck. On the interior, we do have a working steering wheel, working gauges, and also working mirrors. And we do have a working shifter, which is pretty sweet. I'm excited to be back here in FS19 doing a mod review. Lately there have been quite a lot of mods coming out which is awesome. We do have some times where it's a bit slow and then quite a lot of mods do come out at once. Overall this is one sweet truck and I can't wait uh, to put it to work hauling uh, different materials here in the dump bed. Up next, we'll be taking a look here at the OBS Ford. Very similar. This one here has different uh, wheels on it, the color of it. And you guys can see great looking up front here. We do have the extra uh, strobe uh, up there on the dump bed, which is pretty sweet. This thing looks awesome. Once we hop here on the inside, top speed is 62 miles per hour. Everything is the same. It's the same truck, just a different cab on it. On the interior, we do have a working steering wheel, working mirrors, and gauges. And it's very detailed. We do have a regular cab long bed of this OBS Ford, which is pretty sweet. Up next, we'll be taking a look here at the second gen dump truck with the addition of the Fisher plow. This is one pretty sweet uh, Fisher. You guys can see we do have that flap on it. A ton, a ton of detail uh, to this plow. Just look at that. I mean, that's pretty cool. The springs, the hydraulics, and uh, this thing looks awesome. Now, for the plow set up on the dump truck, you get the plow mounts, and you also do get the uh, salter sander here in the back that goes along with uh, the dump bed. And this is actually a uh, stainless steel dump bed. So that looks pretty sweet as well. I think that that might be an upcoming color combo in an upcoming video. But once we hop here on the inside, top speed is 75 miles per hour. Really quickly when you press X, that's how you kind of open the tailgate there to kind of work uh, with the uh, sander salter there in the back. On the interior, you guys can see working steering wheel, working gauges, working mirrors. Once again, we do have a regular cab 
of this uh, truck here as well. And let's look here at the plow mount. So you guys can see full hydraulics, which is pretty sweet. Has pretty good down pressure, you guys can see. It goes down pretty far. And I really do like this. This looks to be an eight and a half, nine foot wide plow. Overall, very uh, good pack of dumb trucks with a nice addition of a snow plow. Up next, we will be taking a look here at a Bobcat Skid Steer by Machine Modding. This is his most up-to-date skid steer with some attachments for it as well. In the store, it can be found under the skid loader category. Has a starting price of just over $59,000, 74 horsepower. So let's take a look here at all of the options. There's so many to do. We got the M series or uh, you do have the M2 series. So a few different logos on the arm and on the back engine there. You got the two speed or just the uh, regular. Let's kind of take a look. So you got the exhaust cap in the back. If you would like, you got the light shield to protect it uh, from uh, breaking those lights back into things. You could get a variety of weights, four weights on either side, three, all the way down to just one, which is pretty cool. A few different uh, wheel options, so you guys can see, and that looks pretty cool. A few different tracks as well. You got the open tracks, the closed tracks, and overall, one great skid steer setup. Up next, we'll take a look here at the attachments for it. We have a bobcat bucket, you guys can see, holds just over 1,200 liters. We got a bobcat uh, pallet fork, bobcat grapple, and another pallet fork. Now, Machine Modding already released a skid steer, but this is full up to date, and this is one sweet one. You guys can see quite a lot of things have changed. This looks awesome. We have the shield on the back, the exhaust. Now, we do have a door on it, which is pretty nice, and this thing looks awesome. Once we hop here on the inside, top speed of 11 miles per hour. Now, it does have those lights in the back, which are pretty sweet, and up front there. When you press X, you guys can see that opens up there to attach, and then you close it as well. On the interior, you guys can see pretty detailed detailed and uh, we do have working joysticks which is awesome as well we'll just check this guys and see very fluent and the handling of this is pretty nice up next we'll take a look here at uh, the different attachments we'll take a look here at the big pallet fork I kind of like the other one now that we do have that in the game so this one you guys can see it's a big bulky a little bit heavier you guys can see the uh, pallet forks do slide around which is awesome up next, we have a little bit of a simpler design here for the pallet fork. It's a bit smaller, a bit lighter, and I really do prefer this one now. You guys can see, look at that. That's pretty sweet. Really do like that option to slide the uh, forks around for different pallet sizes. Up next, we'll take a look here at the bobcat bucket. Now, you do have the option to get the teeth on it or a no teeth. I think the teeth look really nice on the side. You can see the bobcat symbol. I mean, this gets steer looks sweet with it, this bucket. Lastly, we have a grapple here, which is pretty sweet. Now, once again, you could get the teeth or uh, just kind of have the uh, straight blade on. But you guys can see that's awesome. Just look at that. The animations and everything. And you could see that they get uh, hooked up there, which is awesome. The last two mods we'll take a look at here today are two trailers. In the store, we'll first take a look here at the Animal Transport Trailer. You guys can see $19,000. It's pretty big, and you guys can see it's a very long one. Color changeable as well, and you could get a tarp on the top, fifth wheel, or a 2 and 5 16 ball. And last, that we'll take a look here at the Boat Trailer. It's found under the mist category, $145,000 for this trailer. Now the boat uh, is permanent, you can't take the boat off, but look at this. This is one pretty sweet trailer. Now the uh, frame of it is color changeable, which is awesome. It's a very, very wide trailer. We got one propeller here in the back, and this is one big, big boat. Just look at the size of this. And once we hop here on the inside, you guys can see there is actually no collisions, but this thing looks pretty sweet. Really do like the design of it. And that's definitely going to be pretty cool. And you could also get the option for these oversized load signs on it. And once again, very simple uh, animal trailer here, uh, triaxle, gooseneck. And I believe that this is also on console. I hope you guys enjoyed today's mod review back here on the Wind Chaser map. If you would like to see more of these, smash the like button and let me know down below. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next one and subscribe for more. Yeah.